Good morning, Hearts Will High. I'm Lee Saxton. And I'm Ashley Gainey, and this is RFTV. Mr. HHS is tomorrow at 7 at the Center Theater. Doors will open at 6.15. Tickets are available for sale in the main office today. Tickets at the door tomorrow will be $10. Everyone should come out to support the boys of HHS and take a trip back to the 80s. Miss Hearts Will High is on Saturday, March 9th at 7 p.m. at the Center Theater. Pre-sale tickets are $5 and will be sold in the main office with Ms. Fountain and room 217 with Ms. Scaris and through each contestant. This is going to be an amazing and entertaining evening you won't want to miss. Seniors, remember that the Academic Booster Club scholarship is due by the end of today. Can you dance, tell jokes, juggle, act, sing, or entertain in some way? Well, here's your opportunity to show off. It's time for the HHS Talent Show. Sign up for your audition time in the school store. We encourage all forms of talent to sign up. Tonight, the Varsity Girls soccer team will take on Buford at the cage at 5.30. The Varsity Boys soccer team will take on Sumter at the cage beginning at 7. Also, good luck to the softball team who will be participating in the PD pitch-off this weekend at Freedom Florence. I'm Carson Byerly reporting for RFTV. Spring sports just got started, so here are a couple of athletes talking about the upcoming season. This year for girls, varsity soccer is going to go very well. We had a great game against Aner the other night. Um, we had a new formation. We talked well. I think that we're going to work well together and we'll figure out something and how to make our team better. I think we're going to do really good this year. Our chemistry is a lot better than last year. Um, we have a lot of talent up top this year as well in our midfield and our back line is solid, solid as always. Track is a hard working sport. It takes a lot. And being my first year, I already love it. I love the, the positive energy that the team brings and stuff. And I predict we're going to have a good year, including myself. I'm going to have a good year. The February Student of the Month is Caitlin Robinson. Here's I Student Lamp with more. Uh, my name is Caitlin Robinson, and I'm in 11th grade. My favorite class would be um, Mr. Guest. You know, he's just an amazing teacher, and it's really fun to be in there. And yeah. You know. Well, I'm in Beta in the National Honor Society. Uh, it's interacting with people in the community. You know, it's it's good to help others. My friends would probably describe me as a very happy person, always laughing, always trying to make other people laugh, and that's what I want to do. The RFTV Student Athletes of the Month are Jake James, Logan Berger, and Jordan Lynch. All right, I'm here with Jake James, one of the wrestlers for the wrestling team. He won at Lower State, and he got second place at State. And so, Jake, how do you think, if you had to reflect on your season, how do you think it went? I think it, I think it went all right. You know, I was, I was out on injury for about a week and a half, so I mean, I missed a couple of matches. But overall, I think it was a really good senior season, coming first in lower state and then coming second in the state. It's a big accomplishment. It is, it is. How do you think um, the experience was at state? It was great. It honestly was. It was great. I, uh, I wrestled really hard at state, wrestled some tough opponents, and I beat some guys that had beat me previously. That's good, man. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, I'm here with Jordan Lynch, one of the wrestlers for the wrestling team, who got first place in lower state and got second place in the state. So Jordan, if you had to reflect on your season, how do you think it all went? Um, it went pretty good. I um, it was a lot of hard fought matches and really good teammates to push you through it. That sounds good, man. Um, how do you think the experience was at State? Oh, it was a lot of fun. Um, it was a lot better than last year since we had nine people go instead of just three. That sounds good, man. I appreciate it. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, I'm here with Logan Berger, one of the wrestlers for the wrestling team, and he got first in lower state and got second in the state. And so, Logan, how do you think your wrestling season went overall? My wrestling season was really good. I got a pretty good record going, especially as a freshman making it to be in the finals was really nice. That sounds good, man. All right, and how was your experience at State, Logan? It was cool seeing our guys win and then being in the finals was pretty cool. Just having the overall experience. That was good, man. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Well, from all of us here at RFTV, thanks for tuning in. Tune in next week to stay positively informed. And if us only wants our God, we look to nothing else but trust.